Hey you guys, um, I just got all my kiddos to bed and I decided it's um, probably that time to finally make an update on um, our fourth um, baby and pregnancy and everything. Um, it's been quite a while. I think the last video I made was, I was six weeks along, almost six weeks maybe. So I don't even, yeah, I didn't have an ultrasound then at that point either, so I didn't know my due date either. Um, keep repeating words. But yeah, it's been quite a while. <laughs> I have been kind of debating on whether I wanted to make any videos because it's just been really crazy. I've been very, very busy um, with just life and being a mom of three. Um, so it's been kind of... I've just been back and forth and I kind of thought about it recently and I was like you know what it's it's kind of not fair to have vlogged for the other three and then leave this baby out so I kind of think it's best to make maybe a few at least so uh, she has something to watch as well um yeah sorry I'm really tired by the time I get the kids to bed, I'm always so tired and I can't even barely keep my eyes open. So making this video is going to be tricky, but it's the only time I can actually really get it done without them all being all over me and stuff. So, but yeah, today is um, Monday, February 6th, 2017. And right now I am 27 weeks today, so that means I'm officially in the third trimester. And so I'm really excited about that because, um, you know, that's it's getting there. So um, my next milestone is 30 weeks when we start counting down. So it'll be the final stretch and everything. And, um, but yeah, just recently, um, for symptoms for pregnancy, um, I actually have not had too much. I've had a little bit of heart heartburn every now and then, uh, maybe a little bit of acid reflux, but it's not too often. So, yet, anyway. Um, and then I have, like, moments where she's moving around and I can actually feel, like, in my lungs. I feel like I can't breathe because she's moving so much. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera when I'm using hand gestures. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when she moves around, I can totally feel it and it just really takes my breath away. Um, and then another symptom that I'm really just having the same from when I was pregnant with Leah is um, the hip pain, like my hips and my pelvic are separating, so uh, everything is very, very sore. However, I'm not really that sore <sighs> throughout the day. I'm just um, like when I'm getting out of bed. And right now I have to sleep on my left side, and then that makes it a lot easier for me to get out of bed, and I'm just sore for a few minutes. But if I sleep on my, like, Sometimes I will get really sore to the point where I feel like I have to sleep on my right side because my left side is just so worn out um, from all the pressure and stuff. So sometimes I will end up rolling over onto my right side and then it is the worst thing in the morning trying to get out of bed. Um, yesterday took me probably 15 to 20 minutes of getting out of bed and every Every movement I made, I was in tears because it hurt so bad. It was like literally having broken hips. Um, yeah, I just felt like like someone I used to care, like people that I used to care for in the nursing home whenever they had um, hip replacements and stuff or knee replacements and, and how long it took for them to get out of bed and how much pain they were in and stuff. But of course, a lot of them were on pain, pain medications, but still. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm trying to remember when it started with Leah, but I remember when it started with Leah, it was like full on really bad. 
versus this time around. It started earlier. I think it started actually around 22 to 24 weeks, but it's not so bad. But I'm sure that within the next month or so, it's going to get pretty bad to the point where I can barely walk around. That or it's just um, still recognizes the stretch from, or it still has the space from when I was pregnant with Leah's, so maybe I won't be in too much pain. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we can totally cross fingers for a better, really nice third trimester. Um, it does kind of feel like the closer I was getting to the third trimester, the better I was actually feeling. So it's interesting that I feel like I'm going to have an easier third trimester than my second trimester was because it was kind of rough on me still. Um, but main things that I did want to point out that I, um, since I wasn't able to make any videos, um, I continued having morning sickness with this baby until a little bit after 18 weeks. And I was still kind of just, like, I couldn't get out of bed in the morning without eating something. And um, another main one is that if I eat something sugary in the morning, I'm just super dizzy. And it can ruin my entire day. So, um, like I was really enjoying eating oatmeal and stuff, but that was actually making me feel sick and really dizzy all day. So I had to stop eating that, which kind of stings because I was really enjoying it. But, oh well. I can eat, I can eat oatmeal again later. <laughs> um, and I did also want to mention my cravings and stuff. Um, the majority of the time, for this um, pregnancy, it's been um, anything chocolate. I absolutely cannot handle a day without chocolate. And then ice cream. I always want ice cream. And then the fun one that people kind of said is different is um, that I want blueberries all the time. So it's pretty funny because chocolate and ice cream, generally women want that like crazy. And so the blueberries kind of stood out to a lot of a lot of women when I was telling them that. Um, but yeah, that's those are the things that I have to have almost on a daily basis. And with the blueberries, I've been like making things with them. Like, uh, like I don't really eat them plain. I have to have them with something. So I've been making um, blueberry muffins, homemade muffins, and then blueberry pancakes. And then also, um, sometimes if I'm just eating them plain, I'll dip them in whipped cream or something. So, sorry, I do not have steady hands whatsoever anymore. Um, yesterday I had my first, first time of my feet swelling, which was because uh, my husband gave me a day off where I could just sit down and play video games. And I don't play video games more than maybe two or three times a year. So I was just kind of like, hey, I'd like to do that today. And sure enough, I was sitting in a computer chair doing that, and I ended up with the worst swollen feet. Um, luckily, they went back to normal this morning, but I, yeah, my legs are, my legs are quite sore um, when I'm sleeping and stuff, and then they've been getting a little more sore because I'm always on my feet. Like, I am always cleaning, but I have the energy for it, which is kind of weird. Um, and then lately I've been wanting to go out too, like I'll get up and I just get the kids ready and say, okay, we're going out. So, um, but yeah, that really just kind of feels like that's it. I did want to make a separate video to tell you guys how we announced that we were pregnant. Um, we announced it way back in September and, um, so I wanted to talk to you guys on how we did that. And I... Um, I've gotten just a couple of things for her from family or friends, so there's not enough really to make a baby, um, what's the word? <laughs> like, a, I can't make a baby haul yet or anything, so I don't know if we're going to be having a baby shower or not. Um, I... I get kind of embarrassed to say anything, but I do, I do kind of hope that we can. Uh, my husband said that if nobody else does it, he, he will throw it for me because 
the way I see it is it's my last baby, so it is my last chance of ever having a baby shower. And I technically didn't have one with Leah and Ollie, even though people and family members were still just spoiling both of them like crazy. Um, so I haven't actually had a baby shower in five years. So, but I just, I'm kind of like, I, it doesn't even have to be, like, people don't need to bring anything because we have everything we need. It's just the fact of, like, just celebrating the baby in general and having the cake and getting together and just playing all the games and stuff, just being fun. So, but since it would be literally my last time, um, I kind of, yeah, we'll see if it happens or not. Um. So, yeah, if anything like that happens, I'll make some videos or something for that. So, but yeah, um, oh, and I did, I did already start, we're starting on my two week, every two week appointments with my midwife, which I thought was kind of funny because I just had my 26 and a half week appointment. And so then I go in again next week and I'll be 28 and a half then. And I just thought it was kind of weird because I don't recall starting the two week appointments until after, at least after 32 weeks. So I feel like it's just getting earlier and earlier every year. So kind of weird that I'm already going to be going back next week because it just kind of seems pointless. It's like I just did my glucose test last week. So it's almost like, well, why? Yeah. What's the point in coming in at 28 weeks? There's absolutely nothing to go over. So but, um, I don't know. We'll see. So, um, I don't, I also haven't been able to get anything out for her, um, because we don't, we're, we're in the process of finding out whether or not we're going to be moving. And if we do move, it will be before the 1st of May, which I am due the 8th of May. So... It's kind of like, really, um, yeah, it's been, like, I want to get her stuff out and hang it up and start all this crazy nesting. Like, I had to, I had to literally set up the playpen, which has a bassinet built into it and everything, because I was just going crazy. I was like, I have to get something out for her. I just feel really weird not preparing for her. So, but there's not a whole lot I can do because I, yeah, I don't know if we can. So, it's been kind of really rough on me because I just want to put everything together. I want to put everything up. I want to go out and go crazy shopping and it's just going to have to wait. So, um, I mean, of course I waited with Leah too because we didn't know her gender. So, I know, I know I can handle it, but still, it's just kind of interesting. It's interesting when you know that you're you're on your last baby because everything just seems like it's your first baby all over again. Um, like you just feel overprotective and you feel even more excited and I don't know. It's weird. Like I love Oliver and Leah like crazy and we love them to death, but it's, it's kind of hard to explain it. It kind of, it, it's just like, you just know that this is the last time you're going to be doing this. So you're just, interesting it's just an interesting feeling so um like I felt like that a little bit with Leah but I just had that strong feeling that she was not our last baby even though we kept saying she was I just knew she wasn't going to be but this time around it's like oh this is it so I'm definitely taking every little bit in um but yeah I mean other than just the few minor little things I actually feel really great right now so I'm really enjoying it and it's nice to be able to say I mean I know it's just the very start of the third trimester but even then it's still nice to be able to say that I feel great so um but anyway I'm going to do a belly shot for you guys and then end this because it's already longer than I wanted it to be um but yeah I will definitely try to get the video of um how we announce to everybody on social media and then um also, I wanted to make a video on why we chose her name, and just, yeah, I'll think of other ones. But anyway, um, yeah, my, my um, 
camera is having a rough time picking up my belly right now with this shirt on because it's like a burgundy color but it wants to make it pink or red so it's just having fun. Um, this camera kind of makes my belly look a lot bigger than what it is. It's not that bad but not that big. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's our babies, I've just found that they just like to stick out, so they don't have anywhere, like, because they have a short torso, so they don't have anywhere to go. Plus, they're always really long because my husband is super tall, so, oh, man, I feel so out of breath. Um, but yeah, that's all for this week, and hopefully I can um, do another update by 30 weeks or so. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and sticking around um, through all of our, our Disney and Christmas videos and stuff and just being patient about, sorry, itchy belly syndrome like crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around and stuff and anybody that newly subscribed to my channel, um, I appreciate it a lot. So. Anyway, you guys have a great day and or night and I will see you guys through the next video. Bye.